Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve equations with fraction or decimal coefficients. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. To do this, we're going to use an example to explain our steps. We want to solve this equation, 5 equals 1 half y plus 2 thirds y minus 3 fourths y. Well, it's kind, of, it's kind of confusing. We have a lot of fractions here, and it's kind of hard to combine them. So I want to employ a different technique here. We're going to find the least common denominator of our fractions. We have 2, 3, and 4. The least common denominator for 2, 3, and 4 is 12. So I'm going to multiply 12 to both sides of the equation. So we have 12 here times 5 equals 12 times a one-half y plus two-thirds y minus three-fourths y right there. Now take your time with this. No need to rush. Let's go simplify this now. 12 times a five is a good old 60. Now 12 times, well, we have to distribute to each part here, and I think we should be able to do this, but we'll see. Let's we'll rewrite it. 12 times one-half y plus a 12 times a 2 thirds y minus a 12 times a 3 fourths y. And this is where you see the least common denominator or the LCD comes in handy. Again, 60 stays here. But 12 times a 1 half, look at the coefficient there, that's going to be a 6. So we have a 6y plus 12 times a 2 thirds. Well, 12, 3 goes into 12 four times. So we cancel that, put a 4, and 4 times 2 is an 8, 8y. Eight Minus here, same thing. 4 goes into 12 three times, cancel that out, and 3 times 3 is a 9. We have a 9y right here. But now we just got to simplify and look, each one of these is an integer. Makes it easier now to add these, well, the y's together basically, the like terms. So 60 here equals 6y plus 8y minus 9y. Well, 8y minus a 9y is a negative 1y, and then 6 minus a 1 gives us a 5y. So we have a 5y right here. We then divide both sides by 5 to get y by itself, and 60 divided by 5 is a 12. And my y equals 12. I'll rewrite it like this, y equals 12. But now we gotta check this. We're gonna make sure we actually got 12, and that's the right answer. So let's go check that. Well, how do we do that? Well, what I want to do is I'm going to rewrite my original equation. I'm going to use blue here. And instead of y, I'm going to put a 12 in and simplify the left and right hand side to see if they're equal. So we have 5 here equals 1 half times 12, that y value, plus a 2 thirds, 12 is a y, minus a 3 fourths, again, 12 being the y value. Now let's simplify this. 5 equals 1 half times 12, which is a good old 6, plus, this should look familiar, 2 thirds times a 12, 3 and the 12 cancel, we got a 4 here, 2 times 4 is an 8, and then minus 3 fourths times 12, 4 and 12, cancel there, put a 3, 3 times 3 is a 9. Well now we have a 5 equals, we have 6 plus 8 minus 9, looks very similar to before, 8 minus 9 is a negative 1, plus 6 is a 5. 5 equals 5, we're good. Left and right hand side are equal, meaning our y equals 12 is a solution to our equation. I hope you learned how to solve equations with fraction or decimal coefficients. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.